<laughs> Thanks, Mark. Sorry, I just had to come in from another gig. <laughs> uh, doing this James Bond thing's getting to be a bit of a drag. I'd like to uh, introduce the members of the band I'm going to use in this little segment. The uh, humble laptop, or well, these days not so humble, and. Uh, I have a little keyboard here. You know, I think you've all seen that, just a regular keyboard plugged into it. I use this to make music and to send music all over the world and to do all sorts of projects. And things have changed a little. Years gone by, I would, uh, I would be writing with a paper and pen. And if I was working with someone, as I am at the moment, uh, at the end of this uh, next month, I have a performance with the Vienna Philharmonic um, at the Musikverein in Vienna. And I'm writing with a, a gentleman from Berlin we would send bits of paper back and forth to each other. When the fax came along, it was incredible. But you couldn't hear a fax. Now when we work together, we actually work simultaneously on the same piece of score paper, and I watch his pencil putting notes in, and he sees mine, and we can both hear it as it goes. And when it's finished and we're happy with it, we hit send and it appears. This might sound, you know, not that fascinating these days, but have a look at this. I'm gonna pop something up on the screen here and show you how we do music. Here's a little Bach sonata. And uh, it's a nice piano piece. Now the thing is, it's not just a PDF or a representation of the music and then a recording. The computer is actually reading the written music and playing it. And I can demonstrate that for you by grabbing a note and changing it. Say we grab that one there, and I just drag it down, maybe down there. And we'll just try that again and see how it sounds. That's much better. Someone like Bach, no. Um, <laughs> it's actually reading the music. And to the extent that if I uh, put up another piece, do you want, I love it when it says that, do you want to save the changes you made? I always kind of feel like he's watching. No. It was fine how it was. <laughs> but on the music, if I put a flute there, which is on this music, it'll read that and it says, I know what one of those is. That's one of those things. And you'll hear a flute. Again, there's no recording going on here. It's actually reading it and creating the sound of the instruments. Of course, it could sound a little mechanical, couldn't it, being a computer? So let's see if it can swing. So with this one, I've actually told it this is a boogie-woogie style. Get hip. And it starts swinging. Take it away. Yeah. Who would have thought? Groovy computers. But of course, that's looking at pieces that are already in there. One of the great ways of putting pieces together now is a little program like this called GarageBand. I thought what might be fun to do together is to actually create a piece from go to woe. It'll take about a minute and a half. Okay, so we just, that's all it takes. <laughs> Maybe I'll get paid for this. So <laughs> I've chosen some instruments ahead of time. This is kind of like when you see one of those cooking shows, you know, and they say, now I've got it, all the bits here ready, and they cook it in front of me. I've chosen some instruments. You can see there, one's disappearing. This is a bass. And I'm just playing a little keyboard here. So we'll get a little metronome going here. And I got a metronome, that's good, and a count in, and start recording. Okay, that'll do. Now, we want our piece to be a little bit longer. So what I'll do is a, a little thing that all of you know, even if you've never used music software, it's called copy and paste. <laughs> There's a certain amount of repetition in good music. <laughs> now, speaking of good music, what we need now is some drums. Now, I'm not going to put in every beat of the drums, so we've got some instruments here. Let's have a look. Um, all instruments, all drums. Now, what's, uh, there's so many drum rhythms in here, so let's nail it down. I think this morning I'm feeling like something exotic, so I'll just put that in and say, give me some exotic beats. What do we got? Oh, here we go. <laughs> exotic beat, fantastic. Let's, and we audition them. That's not bad, that's not bad. Mm, I'm looking for something a little more urban. Yeah, that's my drum. 
So I pop that in there and I say, you play the drums there. Now you notice it's only very short. You see the length of it there compared to the bass thing and the piece is going to go much longer. All we do with that one is just drag it out. We don't even copy and paste and say, you just keep doing what you did for those first four bars. <laughs> now I know what you might be thinking at this point. What is that all there is to playing drums? Yep. <laughs> um, well, it's... Come on, it's not trumpet. Um, now I'm, I'm going to pop some organ on here. That's good. All right, let's get recording. Two, three, four. Okay, that'll do, and he can do his thing twice too. Now we need some guitar on there, some like, not the rhythm guitar, you know, some funky, funky guitar. Let's have a look here. I've got guitars here. I know I've got guitars. That'd be the first thing they put in it, surely. Here we go, guitars. And let's go, funky guitars. All right, this is fun. Now we just audition them. Thank you, leave your number. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good. Let's put that in there. And that's a nice guitar riff. You can see it's a lot, twice as long as the drum thing which pretty much equates to the general IQ difference. Um, and let's go. There's another riff. Let's put that one in there. You just do that, and then do that again a little later. And that's, that's enough. That's a good, good bit of guitar. Let's have a listen to that now. We're, so we're building the track here. I'll just go back to the top. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is all great, but it's still there's going to be something missing. That sounds good for about four bars, but after a while it would get a bit boring because it is repetitive. What it needs on it, it's the same in anything. I don't know, whatever you do, you know it's the same. You can put things in place and have them work, but it always needs somebody live on the top of it reacting to what's going on to make it really work. Music is very much like that. So I'm going to play now big electric lead that says lead guitar. We can get rid of this. We don't need any more of that now. And it's going to sound like this. My teenage boys love that one. Okay, here we go. We're ready to do the song. We just have to name it. This piece is um, the, uh, the, the, the next wave, uh, you know, 1022 blues. Okay, take it away. You know, I mentioned those cooking shows earlier. Do you know what they always do? They're cooking away in front of you. They're doing stuff, a bit of saute, this, a bit of that, and it's kind of looking like a mess. And then they say, okay, now here's one I did earlier. And they pull out this fantastic looking, that's what I'm doing. Um, we can lose that now, mate. This is a